So I've been watching the follow up from the passage of this TikTok bill in the house and trying to figure out if I had anything useful to add to the conversation. The first thing I would say is to be clear, the bill that passed is not a ban, but it would act as a de facto ban if the parent company, ByteDance, didn't diversify its portfolio and sell TikTok to an American company, which they have been very clear they have no intention of doing. Now, there's a number of things I don't like about this bill. I don't like the idea that the American government feels like it can force the sale of a private company that doesn't want to sell. That feels like government overreach to me. I don't like the idea of 170 million Americans potentially losing access to one of their favorite information sharing sites because of a government decision. That feels too close to a First Amendment violation. I don't like that the American government targeted one specific company as if they're the only threat to our national security when we know our information is being sold all the time by companies like Meta. The fact that Meta is owned by an American is irrelevant. Our information has not been safe for a really long time. And finally, I don't like the people who are lining up to buy TikTok in America. For the most part, these are really shady folks, and I don't trust them with the algorithm. I'm thinking specifically of people like Elon Musk or Trump's former Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. I understand the argument as to why we would want China out of American TikTok. China doesn't allow U.S. social networks to operate in China, but we allow their social networks to operate here. So theoretically, they get to push their agenda and narratives using these big apps, but we don't get to do the same. Plus, Chinese TikTok is totally different than U.S. TikTok. As someone smarter than me said, their TikTok is vegetables and ours is crack cocaine. It's a deliberate choice. Just like it's a deliberate choice to amplify the content that makes us fight each other rather than the content that brings us together. TikTok has also already reached out to the American people through the app to call their congressional members to lobby against this bill. And we need to be really clear that no matter how we feel about this bill, this is a U.S. adversary directly engaging with the American public to sow political influence. That is happening right now. So who's to say what they would do in an upcoming election? Or in the case of China invading Taiwan? Or if a Chinese back country and a U.S. back country were at war? We need to acknowledge that there's a lot of ways that an app this powerful in the hands of an American adversary could be very dangerous to our national interests. Finally, we have very strict laws in the U.S. to restrict foreign ownership of important media properties. Rupert Murdoch had to become an American citizen before he could buy Fox News. A Chinese company would never be allowed to just say buy CNN if they wanted to. They would have to go through an approval process with the FCC because our laws limit foreign ownership of broadcast networks. But that's what social media has become. Broadcast networks. A way to get our information. So why are we allowing something on our smartphone that we would never allow on our television? These are all legitimate concerns. But I think one of the most convincing reasons to oppose this bill is that it doesn't really address the problem. The problem is that we simply don't have enough laws around new media. It's like the Wild West out there. We just haven't come to terms with the fact that this is the new world and we haven't written proper legislation to protect our data privacy or rein in lies for profits or rein in online slander. Passing one bill to try and manage TikTok when there are plenty of other companies actively misusing our data misses the bigger picture. It's like Congress is trying to take a splinter out of our finger when our wrist is bleeding out. If anything, this decision might make the whole thing worse. If this bill passes and TikTok refuses to sell, it will essentially become unusable, which will make the other platforms all the more powerful. We know Meta, which owns Facebook and Instagram, and Google, which owns YouTube, and Elon Musk's X have an outsized influence on our public opinion and politics. This would only supersize that. Which is why all of these companies' lobbying groups are already on Capitol Hill pushing for this bill to pass. So while I think it's entirely fair to say that we can't really trust TikTok, we also can't trust American owners. I mean, technically, Elon Musk is a U.S. citizen, but he got a major chunk of money to buy Twitter from Saudi Arabia, and he spends a good amount of time pushing domestic terror-inducing content to his users. So how is that any better? The bottom line is we need to think this through. Three days is not long enough to come up with proper piece of legislation. We don't even have proper rules for cable television, let alone social media. What we need is far more regulation for the entire information sharing industry. This TikTok ban doesn't solve the problem. All it does is piss off half the country and undermine our ability to share information in an election year. So for that reason, I cannot approve. Call your senator.